Praise the Lord. Shalom. Welcome to Walking with God. James chapter 4 verse 7 says, Submit yourselves therefore to God. As God's children, we are called to surrender our lives to Him. What does that mean? In Romans chapter 6 verse 16 it says, Do you not know that to whom you present yourselves slaves to obey, you are that one slaves whom you obey? If we give ourselves to obey our body and its desires, then we are the slaves of our body. If we give ourselves to obey the world, its norms and its pleasures, then we are the slaves of the world. And if we give ourselves to obey God, to do what is right and pleasing in His sight, then we are surrendering ourselves to the authority of God. So, does it mean that just because you have surrendered your life to Jesus, you cannot enjoy in life? You can enjoy. You can have fun. You can live life to the fullest. You can do the things that you love. You just have to remember that Whatever you are doing, do it within the boundaries and the rules that God has set for us. See, in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve had the right to enjoy the entire garden. There were beaches, there was nature, companion. There was just one tree from which they were not supposed to eat. The problem arises when we want to eat or do that one thing that God has asked us not to do. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Secondly, to surrender also means to cast all our anxieties, all our worries and all our tensions on God. Sometimes when we don't understand what is happening in life, then the best thing to do is to keep that matter in God's hand with trust. Once there was a man who was driving his trolley auto. On the road while he was going, he saw a woman walking with a heavy basket on her head. So this man wanted to help the lady, so he asked her to get behind in the trolley. After going a little further, when the man turned back and looked at the woman, he saw that she was still carrying that heavy basket on her head. So he asked her, why are you still carrying that basket on your head? And she said, sir, you're so kind enough to carry me in your trolley. I don't want you to carry even my heavy burden also. Sometimes we are like that. We think that we have casted all our burdens on God, yet our heart is filled with anxiety, tension and worry. Today, let us surrender ourselves once again to God. Let us surrender our situations to God and let us welcome His guidance and His peace in our lives. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. Do share it with your family and friends. Subscribe to our channel and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. God bless you.